up guys this is Brian at Sign Me Up Designs uh, SignMeUpDesigns.net Today I want to make a little video and show you a trick that I've learned over the years uh, to heat pressing t-shirts fast and effectively um, and getting everything kind of centered up without using the bulky T-square tool or any other, any other kind of alignment tools that you need to move the, the tool off of the shirt before you press it. Uh, this way I'm going to show you is a lot faster. Um, I've done runs of about 60 shirts with a heat press. Um, you know, it takes a little bit longer than screen printing, obviously, but um, this is a way that I've found that uh, that's, really, that's really the best way to do it um, as far as getting everything perfectly aligned and, um, and making a consistent run of shirts that are heat transfer shirts. So um, with that being said, let's get this video started. Alright guys, so first thing you want to do is you want to go to harborfreight.com and that's going to pull up the home page here. You want to go in the search keywords or item number and you're going to want to type in laser marker. And the first result you get is this laser marker that looks like it's on a circular saw. And this is the tool you're going to need right here. As you can see, it's only $5.99. Now if you don't have a Harbor Freight close to you, you can actually order it from the website and they can ship it to you. Okay, obviously guys, we are dealing with very hot surfaces since this is a heat press. The temperature right now is 345 degrees Fahrenheit and the laser thermometer also says that this temperature is about 161 at the edge and a little bit not quite as hot, 106, 107, 103 at the label and this is the area we're going to be putting the um, the laser guide so just be careful I shouldn't have to say this but some people are going to say oh I burnt myself well you're dealing with very hot surfaces be smart be careful if you have one of these laser thermometers kind of see what you're getting into beforehand you know as far as temperature now this the area where it usually sits is about 100 degrees um, that's really not much worse than like a hot summer day so it wouldn't be really any different than putting this laser guide on a hot piece of metal that's been sitting outside. But again, it's hot. Be careful. Don't touch it. Be smart when it comes to your safety. Okay, guys, here is the tool itself. Um, as you can see, it's got a magnetic base. It's got three small little magnets there, and it's got a push button in the back. And what it does is it actually sends a laser line across a horizontal laser line across um, you know the closer you go the uh, the smaller the line gets and then you can kind of bring it back um, you can actually adjust this <clears throat> too um, by turning the the head right here you can adjust which way the line shoots which you'll probably have to adjust it when you first get it um, but here's how it kind of mounts I usually put it right here um, now this will work on pretty much any heat press that has a magnetic um, kind of border around the heat platen um, this is a clamshell style press obviously um, and it should work on a swing away too it might be a little bit harder to keep consistent and lined up but as long as it has this metal base across here it should work um, and as you can see it magnetizes itself right there you know I kind of worry about it getting hot sometimes but I've never had a problem and um, once you put the shirt down it will put a, a laser line across the front of the shirt and obviously there's no big bulky tools to, to move around or um, you can put the shirt on right here. You know, obviously, whenever you go to press it, we need to pull it back off so it doesn't crush it. All right, guys. So I've got my shirt set up here in the heat press. I got it pretty centered. Hopefully, you can tell from the video uh, to the machine. Now, this is a 16 by 20 heat pr uh, press machine. It's just an eBay model. It's nothing fancy, uh, but I've had it for a while and it does really good. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing set up here. Now I've made this little mark, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but I've made a little mark kind of in the center of the heat press. And you know, you can always line it up with the seam of the shirt. Sometimes it doesn't work, you can, call it, you can get what's called a ghost seam where it'll kind of go off to the side. Um, but if you kind of fan the shirt out across the press like that, you can see that that seam is kind of in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and preheat it. So we're going to shut it down and it's pretty close, I don't know if you can see it, but here's the center line. So that's pretty close to the center of the platen. So we've got it pretty squared up on the heat platen right now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this little $6 laser guide here. And you can see it makes a nice straight line across the shirt. So 
There's no T-square function, no, no big bulky thing to put on the shirt that you have to move around. Um, so what I like to do is I like to put it right here on the corner um, and kind of get it as close as I can. Now the, the next part is pretty important. You need to get the laser edge, hopefully you can see it, um, as close as you can to the seam on the left where the sleeve comes out and the seam on the right where the sleeve comes out. Now you might have to position your your laser a little bit closer to kind of get it where you need it to go where you can see the the line goes across the seam on each shirt and don't you know feel free to move it across the platen if you need to. But that's pretty close there. You can see the laser is right there at that seam and right there at that seam. Now we'll go ahead and get our heat transfer material and put it on. Alright so I've got my design here and it's just a simple design. Um, we're going to go ahead and center it up with the, uh, with the laser. As you can see we've got it on the seams there. So again it'll, it will work for centering um, the um, vertical position. You have to kind of eyeball the, the horizontal position still. So like I said you can go by the seam but that's kind of a phantom uh, uh, seam sometimes. So if you get it pretty close and I just kind of judge from the edge of the heat press uh, you know it's pretty close there. So again, it's not an exact science, but uh, it is way easier. So as you can see, it's lined up perfectly on our laser design here. Uh, it's not going to interfere with our collar on the back side. Uh, then we can go ahead and pull our laser off and get our Teflon sheet. And we'll press it now. Is this not the most annoying timer sound you've ever heard? I just had to share this with you because it literally pierces my ears every time I hear it. Thanks a lot, Chinese equipment. Alright, remove the Teflon. And this is a Caesar Easy Weed, so it's the hot peel. So we can go ahead and peel this right on off there. And the end result, as you can see, is a perfect press vertically on the shirt. Um, no big bulky um, T-square tools, you don't have to, I mean that just took forever. The T-square works good for vertical and horizontal alignment, um, but I've found this idea to be the best. I've done a lot of, I did a lot of runs for people with this same style and uh, I haven't had any complaints. Um, so I really feel like this is the easiest, most effective, and I mean the T-square tool I believe is around 50 bucks after shipping. And this is, you know, <laughs> non-comparable. It's six bucks. So, you know, if you have a Harbor Freight, go get you one of these tools. Uh, it is really going to save you a lot of time, especially on bigger runs. I think this run of shirts is around 40. So, um, it is not, I'll go ahead and show you this too. It's not really helpful on the, uh, the front chest, like pocket area logos on the front, which is what we have to do on this one too. Um, so it's not very helpful, but it is the same concept if you had some sort of a uh, center logo, you know, you could always do the same thing in the front where you can use your laser and line up the seams. Hang on just a second, I'm going to line these seams up here. So, some of that effect there, you can line the seams up and if you had a center design, maybe something that was going right across the front or maybe something kind of arced, you could do that too. Um, for this shirt, it's going to be a breast pocket area right here, but you can still even use this line as kind of a guide. And we can take this same logo. Now, that's going to be a little bit too far down there, but if you want to, you can move it up a little bit and even kind of, kind of take a ruler. If you really want to get exact about it, you can kind of take a ruler and measure down. It's about two inches from the C and about two inches from the E. So you know just kind of you can kind of use the same idea um, to, kind of, to get your front pocket lined up too. So we're going to take one more look at the final result on the shirt. Um, this is kind of the way it turned out. Uh, as you can see it's pretty consistent. It's relatively centered um, left and right and up and down. Um, I feel like a customer will be happy with this result. The uh, alternative would be, you know, obviously using the T-square tool, but, you know, it's going to take a little bit longer. I think this run of shirts I have to do is about 40, so um, the customer should be pretty happy with that result. Um, again, you know, let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a comment. 
you know, maybe I'm an idiot, you know, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Just tell me what you want to tell me in the comments and uh, I'll try to respond if I can. So there you have it guys. Uh, I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe, like the video, comment. Um, if you, if you know of another way that might be a little bit faster, please, by all means, I'm open to suggestions, leave a comment in the video. Um, and if you think you know somebody that might, uh, benefit from this video, uh, share it with them, please. And, uh, you know, I've learned a lot, uh, and mostly what I've learned is been from internet research. So, uh, this is kind of my way to give back to people and, and, uh, give you an inexpensive option for, uh, aligning heat transfers on t-shirts. So, uh, that being said, that's the video. I will send a link. I will put a link to the um, to the Harbor Freight website um, and a direct link to the actual tool itself. You know, those links are kind of they kind of expire after a while. But if you follow, like I told you in the front of the, in, the, in the beginning of the video, um, you should be able to go to their website and find that tool. They usually have them in stock. Um, the batteries are little watch batteries, uh, three little watch batteries that go inside of it. Um, you can get those at Walmart for pretty cheap. Um, but the reality is they come with batteries, so it might be cheaper to just pick up a couple of these tools just so you have an extra. Um, again, you know, with the, with the price of the T-Square tool at 50 bucks, you can really buy about eight or nine of these things, you know, and it keep them just stockpiled. Um, in case one goes bad, you, you'll never have any downtime. So, uh, again, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and, um, I'll bring more content later on. Thanks, guys.